like trash. I feel like my life is trash right now. There's a lot of trash <clears throat> going on and I think it was just yesterday. Yeah, that was garbage day. I'm filming this on a Wednesday. My cul-de-sac neighborhood garbage day is Tuesday and I'm telling you this because it's somehow relevant and important in this video. So, okay. So, yes. The slipper didn't fit. That is my intro to... I don't know. To suck you in. Hopefully, you're still here. I'm ridiculous. This is weird. Always weird. Extra weird. But yeah, so that little intro, the slipper didn't fit. Foreshadowing as to what we're going to be talking about today. I wonder if people do shoe hauls. That's kind of sort of what this already feels like, and we haven't even really gotten started. Let's begin, though. But yeah, just to finish that thought, good grief. Um, shoe hauls. This is a shoe collection. I should really show you guys a family collection. We have a lot of family right now, and we have just craziness going on. Whatever. I feel like I'm really extra strange in this video. I'm sick, and I'm not feeling it, and I feel like this video can really help. But yeah, so family collection, I should really show you that, because we have a lot of family in town, and coming in town, and just around, but they are out of the house right now, so... That's why I'm filming this, that's why there's no background noise, that's why I can do this. So, I'll show you a family collection soon, but this is the shoes, time to shine. So, um, yeah, my mom, she's also gone to, and funny little story time, so speaking of shoes, I thought this was ironic, because this happens just before the video, this shoe whatever thing going on. Before that, my mom, she has a thing tonight it's her my brother it's like a senior appreciation or recognition type thing for the seniors and she wanted to know what shoes looked the best with her outfit she didn't know what shoes to wear and she was asking us and our opinions and my brother he's just himself my camera's probably gonna die because i was taking pictures it was like those quirky doll like creepy style themes it was like the pigtails and the teddy bear instead it was a bunny rabbit and then it was in the other hand a lollipop it's kind of quirky my camera's gonna die and i'm ranting which will really make it die faster sooner quicker hopefully not the story okay so she wanted to wear these she calls them like trendy hip whatever like sandal like black heel things and my brother he's himself he's all like uh, no, he's just very blunt and bold and honest, and he's very opinionated, and he will tell you no, and he will tell you when something looks dumb, and that was one of those times. And then my mom and him, they leave, she wears the shoes that he told her to wear, the flats, and then she leaves only to come back like that, and she was like, nope, I'm gonna wear what I want, <laughs> and then she changes her shoes and she leaves. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know why I have to tell you all these things, but... But yeah. Okay, so, also, because we're on the topic of my crazy, crazy family and the madness thereof, so I have the same pair as my mom, or she has the same pair as me, and I think that my sister-in-law, she will not be named. I, I can't make fun of her and be mad at her and say her name out loud at the same time. Not in front of you guys, it's just, it's rude. But yeah, I think that she kidnapped them or she napped them. So uh, these ones are too small. These ones are my mom's. So it's weird. I'm using my mom's for the video. And my sister-in-law has got, I think, or else I misplaced them. I don't know. But mine. So yeah. I don't know. So I tried them on to make sure that they were mine. They were not. They're too small. So they are Reef. They're by Reef. R double E F. Sounds like I'm swearing, like spelling out a bad word. I don't know. So they're black, they're squishy, kind of like spongy. They got this thick, thick strap, and I don't know, it's really comfortable. I don't know. It almost feels powdery, but it's obviously not. But it's just, it's really nice. And then you get some little friction action here. Mm, grip, I guess. 
cool little pattern thing. So just all black flip flops, just traditional like the thong style. Got those on a trip strictly because my feet, they were on the verge of bleeding and cracking. <laughs> because actually I was wearing these guys and that's funny. The first two I'm showing you are the pairs that are in the story, anyway. So they're also black and they're a slight wedge, like a kitty heel wedge. And they're kind of like Mary Jane style with the little ankle strap. Well, not quite ankle, but just below. Pretty big opening, curved toe, and it's like velvety suede or something. And nine and a half, by the way. I'm like nine and a half, sometimes nine, sometimes ten, usually nine and a half, but anyway. So I was wearing these and they're American rag, but I was wearing them on a trip and I was all cutesy and fancy that day. I was feeling on fire on top of the world and I was just like, I'm going to wear a dress and heels. And so I did. And then I regretted it and I was all sore. Do I sound more attractive? I feel like my voice is deeper and it's usually not that sometimes maybe often annoying higher pitch. I don't know. Do I sound more attractive like a lower voice? Maybe I should just be sick more often and like make myself sick all the time. That sounds terrible. I did not just say that. So do on camera. But yeah, so these shoes, they were killing my feet and then we bought those. My mom treated me to these ones, my saviors. They they resurrected my feet. I don't know. Okay, we got speed along hip. Okay. So Yay! My closet. So I think I have like 22 pairs, and last year I had maybe like 10-ish, so probably 5, honestly, and then I don't know what happened, 2019, 2K19, I just, by the time this year came around, you know, good thing that I have a video of my room in the closet, a little tour. See this process up. I have two hands on my. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna surround myself with shoes. I have a photographic memory, and I'm a visual learner, so I think I believe that I'll be fine on my own. Maybe this is too distracting with this open. There's some shoes left. There's a lot out here. We'll go like this, and then we'll go like that. So we'll do these. 22 pairs. You can count them up. I would, but I'll lose count, and I'm bad at math, and numbers stress me out. And plus, I will feel embarrassed and ashamed and mad at myself because I have all these shoes. Some of which are thrifted, which might sound gross, but we'll get into that. <coughs> shoes are expensive. <clears throat> the thrifted ones are gross, so I guess I can justify it by getting gross, thrifted, cheaper shoes. 22 pairs. I'm so sick. And I'm sick and tired of all these shoes. <laughs> no, just kidding. Some of them I really have to wear, though. Okay, where do I begin? We're at like 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, 8. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, guys. Okay. So we're really gonna... Yeah. Okay. So we got those. My stomach. We're gonna do heels. And I'm in sweats right now. The sweats look with the heels. Is that a look? I've seen it done before and it would be really interesting. But... I don't know. I would have to be... Just having a day. Like, having the best day, a good day. Like... But I don't know if I can really do that. It looks good on Pinterest, but I don't know if it looks good in real life, and more especially on me. Okay, these, I'm terrible. I've worn them no times. I'm trying to remember. I'm reflecting back in my life these past few months since I've had this, these. Anyway, so they're Target. They're by A New Day. I hate it. It's like and E away or something. I don't know if you can see that. It's whack. But yeah, it's Target and they're dusty. Wow, guys. I could just give them to Play-Dohs or I just maybe shouldn't have bought them at all, but 
I have plans for them. Anyway, they're a really pretty lighter, not quite pastel, but purple, and they're like that velvety suede. This is more of a true ankle strap, the Mary Jane, whatever, kind of similar, similar style. And then open toe, very open shoe, a slight, just waving them around, strap there, kind of like sandal-esque, and kitty heel, a chunky heel, not quite kitty, I don't know, but it's like maybe two inches, I would say. And I don't do big heels, they look cool, but I mean, I'm five, seven and a half. It's a random height, isn't it? I thought it was five, eight. Then I thought it was 5'7 because I hunched. Well, I do hunch. And then I was like, wait, I'm 5'7 and a half. And I was right. We found out. Anyway. So, yeah. So, I like the silver hardware. I don't think I have any gold hardware buckle detailing. Not shoes-wise, anyway. Okay, and then these are thrifted. These, I'm bad. Again, I have not worn these guys. These aren't as dusty. No, they're worse. They're way worse. And they're also white, so it looks looks awful. This is like squishy-ish. This is as well. Mm, not as much. But it's like denim. It's very interesting. Like denim and it's light denim. And I like this chunky heel. It's chunkier than the last one. And it's a weird, weird material. I don't know. And it's lined and then also going down the heel there's this darker medium blue. Those two lines going down and across. And it's just, it's a chunky, there's a hair, chunky platform, and it's like cage detailing. Sorry, I don't have these really prepared for you. And then the bunk, the buckle, the buckle just goes around in a bigger circle. Oh, I don't know. But, yeah, they're, they're cool, they're interesting. Made in China, 9 medium, blue denim. Stop number, because that's important. And this is Northwest Blue. And it makes sense, they are blue. So, I like those guys. I just, I don't wear them. Okay, more heels will go. Transition to this booty, is that what it's called? And then boots, and then whatever's left. And then they're flat. Okay, these guys, I have worn them. I got them for Christmas one year. And they're just from the mall, I think, Macy's or JC Penny. I always mix them up. I think Macy's. It's Madden Girl, and these, again, they're not that big of a heel, probably like two inches, I would say. This is a true suede. They're a nice medium, darker than taupe brown, and they're just real cute. It looks like a little boot, and they're not high up at all. They stop at like a little bit above the ankle, I guess, and it's just brown all over, all around. The little laces and then the inside it's don't know if you can see that at all but it's plaid so it's all like wintry and fall they look real cute with black tights and a cutesy dress and just to show you guys i don't know if you can see that one either it says four on the back very interesting probably got a good look at the hair that won't leave that shoe alone Okay, so now we'll go here. I really want to wrap this up. don't want to have to uh, charge the camera because it died and then do more parts and whatever. Sorry, guys. Okay, these guys, these are Steve Madden. They are really old and beat up now. These were like one of my first pairs of shoes, I feel like. Okay, that can't be right because, I mean, I got these late high school and uh, like senior year probably. Yeah, one of my first pairs of shoes ever. No. Probably like out of this collection, like my, for my age, what am I saying? Okay, they're all black and they're like the, I don't know what they would say, is it like called Troopa? Troop? Mm, I don't know if it will tell me actually. I don't know, but they got just the zipper, does everyone have a zipper? These ones do not. And these ones do have a zipper, just black. Just black detailing, seaming, zipper, laces, this lace it has, mm, that little thingy, why am I telling you this? <laughs> I don't know, I hope they're not back yet because I really want to film this, but I just heard the doorbell and my dad can go grab it. So yeah, just traditional military boot, combat boot, I think troopa, troopa, I don't know. And now we're going to go wintry, rainy, 
rain days. I have worn these guys a few times, and they're great in the snow, not just the rain. So we had a big old snowstorm this year, 2019, and it was bad, it was intense, and I needed these, and I was glad I had them. I've had them for a real long time. They are Ralph Lauren, and my mom has the same pair, or at least she did. They are a darker, deeper blue, and then they have some silver detailing, and they kind of get discolored. I don't know if it was because of the moisture, but they kind of grayed, and they look kind of like powdery now like powder blue but that's kind of what it is like powder and or blue whatever and then it says bright green on the inside really fun and it says 9b so i think there's a size 9 and then b comes from big they reek though Ooh, just got a whiff of that so those are really good and they do grip these ones they grip even more and i'm trying to remember i know the ralph Lauren came from the mall why am i doing this um, the first heels, the black wedges, somewhere in the mall, you know, American Rad. I told you Target Thrift. The caged blue ones were thrifted. Don't know if I said that. Whatever. Okay, sorry guys. So these are really, really furry and fluffy and fuzzy on the inside. It's a nice tan kind of color on the inside. And then you see a little bit of that exterior. They actually can go up. I prefer them down though, just a cuter look I feel like. They just, I don't know, they don't look as cozy and casual. Just for time, we'll look like that. Anyway, so they have this crazy like Indian inspired tribal print pattern going on. This cool design, it's mostly red and then there's gray and yellows to it. And a lot of the detailing is brown. And then there's this darker gray brown near the toe area. And they're just a traditional richer boot, but they're also not traditional, they're quirky. Makes me think of like an Eskimo or, I don't know, I hope that's not racist or anything. Ooh. Okay, now um, we'll go, these guys, these are thrifted. Um, the blue cage was Goodwill, also Goodwill. Probably, okay, so I thought they were dye shoes, and I think when I hold them I did say that. I was doing the haul, and I said they were guy shoes, like gay guy shoes, I think. But no, no. They're just like lesbian girl shoes, I guess. No. I don't know. They're Oxfords, and they actually are girl shoes. I looked them up. They're Johnston and Murphy. They're really, really worn out, and I'm putting them all over my pants, and I don't want the bottoms to touch. That's dreamy. But yeah, they're this really cool like sea foam gray blue kind of color. And they're suede as well. There's a lot of suede going on. These are my babies. I love them with dresses. They look so, so, so cute. It gives a preppy, quirky, tomboy vibe. And I think it's just, mm. so it's really cool. And then the gray with that brown at the bottom, like the heel and the whatever. Okay, and then we have these guys. These, I think it's like, not Foot Factory, Footwear, Famous Footwear. Mm -hmm. It's Blowfish Malibu. That's who it's by. And look at that stripe and floral thing going on inside. And the bottoms are this bright blue, and it says Blowfish across, and I think there's little fishy, cartoon fi fishy things. Cartoon fish? Anyway, it's a really, really pretty dusty rose canvas. And then it has this pop-out lace crochet detailing flowers and leaves and stuff. And then you got this big, chunky, white base. Got those with my mom. Ooh, and then the back. Blowfish and blue. I like the bright blue with the pink. Okay. These are Target. Have I worn them? Probably once or twice. At least once. They hurt my feet. They're really bad. You have to break them in. And the denim, it will pinch your feet and it will rub against them, rub them raw and red. But yeah, they are DV. I'm trying to remember what that means. Nine and a half divine virtue. No, I don't know. But yeah, this is a darker medium wash denim. And then they're just frayed little bows. And it's like, what am I doing? How do I show you? It's like basket woven, braided, shedding everywhere, shedding everywhere. Anyway, bottom base, and 
They're really, really cute. It's like they're wannabe slippers. There's a name for them. Not loafers. That's almost like what this is. Um, whatever. And then these are like slides. Like bar slides, I guess. So I've worn these only a few times. I usually wear them when I walk the dog. I'll be in my Nike sweats and I'll be in my Nike slides. And here they are. So they are really grippy. The bottom and the bottom. And they're just this really, really, really pretty pink. I've never seen this color on a shoe before. Well, I say that and I just showed you these. But no. So, oh, did I say the Target? The bows are from Target. And I've seen these in Play-Dohs. I've seen them at Play-Dohs. And it's like, somebody else's feet have been damaged because of the madness of these shoes. So yeah. So it's like this dusty, mauve pink. And then... The Nike and the swoosh is a really cool silver. Okay. Oh, and then these, and then we'll get into those nine pairs left. So Converse are my favorite shoes. I love them, I love them, I love them. They're so tomboy and quirky and cutesy and kind of weird and they're honestly timeless. I just, I love them so much. I could talk about them all the time. So these are the high tops. I want to get more. I want to get the heel. I want to get different colors. I want to wear, like, I don't know, for example, a pink, a hot pink and a bubblegum pink one. One on each foot. Different shoe on each foot. It's just like, mm. And then there's the ones really, really tall, like thigh high or something. But these are just the high tops. They're the black ones with the white detailing and laces and base and toe and everything. And you get their little logo right here. And it's just... I love them so much. I think these are guys, but no, I don't think they really have genders. They're things and not alive, whatever. So US9, but you know what I mean. I think they could be both. Okay, so just skimming. Did I show you all the goods so far? Now these back away real slow like I'm quoting something I can't remember where the quote comes from can you still hear me I can't really raise my voice because yeah. so these let's start with these and then we'll finish the converse thing I need more converse but I only have one other pair left to show you and talk about so these are from Zabu I got them as a gift it was my birthday present which really wasn't necessary. I mean, I feel bad. I'm not good at receiving gifts. I know a lot of people aren't. But anyway, they're really, really cozy, comfy. They're size 9, 10. They're by Chill Chasers, and it's like a slipper shoe. So kind of like the Ugg, but not as nice quality and kind of more flimsy, but I don't really care. It's a shoe. And they're just this, I don't know, sweatery material and they're really fuzzy on the inside and then they're just like pepper black gray and white and then they got this little cool line in the back line on the side whatever okay converse these are the hot pink ones and they're the low top so same thing just hot pink gonna rush gonna hurry these they are nikes i've had these since high school the running shoes, I run, I did cross country, I tried track, tried, that's a different story, exercise and do as a long story short. But yeah, so they are mostly gray and they have pinkish, purplish, blue detailing. The swoosh is, what color is that, black? And they're very breathable. I want new ones though, I don't feel like these are really me and I've had them for so long. And as a runner, you want to love your shoe, you want to confident and comfortable in your shoe you want it to be your shoe like the shoe and I just I would like an upgrade an update they are pretty solid here at the bottom same colors and they help you run well you know there's the free runs and they don't match their name I've tried those and you slip and slide everywhere it's terrible and this is what my team did I had the grand idea hey we should all match but only like three other girls had the same thing as me, so at least a few of us matched. It's like this hot pink yarn, little bow on my shoe. Team spirit, support the team. Oh wow, okay, we're gonna hurry. Okay, so Kev, I don't know what a Kev looks like. 
a boyish kind of shoe, just a flat, just like whatever tennis shoe, just red. And then we got my moccasins. Moccasins really beat up. Just like a slipper, almost like Indian style shoe. Got this little snowflake tribal print detailing, a cool cream color, and then other than that, they're all a nice tan color. And then I'm trying to remember, I really don't know where those from, just the mall. This is from Sears when it was closing, got on sale, nine and a half by Metaphor. It's a pointed toe. It has some really pretty embroidery going on, a nice cherry blossom. And then it's a really dark gray flowers back and front toe. And then here we have Material Girl. I'm like sweating, I'm so stressed. So they're brown and then the detailing, the bow, the whatever, strappy parts, sandal parts, <laughs> a nice dusty rose, and then there's all this bedazzledness on it, most girly shoes I've ever had. So somewhere in the mall. These, they have like infinity at Plato's Closet. I didn't get them the first time I saw them, went back, saw the same like billion to choose from. And yeah, Plato's Closet, they're sandals, and they just do the crossover detailing toe, and then they're a nice mint color. These are actually gold detailed exterior, what's it called? Whatever. And I like that mint color and brand, it's like FRH, I don't know. Nice mint color and then they got the braided woven detail. Two more. Alright, so these, my friend, she had these when she was like five, the same kind of style, I don't know what it's called. But these are like my hippie hipster bohemian sandals are just brown an orange brown. And these, I have to hurry, I don't want the camera to die. They're traditional, like actual ballet slippers I feel like, and they go up your leg, you can do a little bow around your ankle, they cross over across the foot, they've got the little mini bows, so it's got the big bow ankle, and then the big or small bow at the toe, and they're just a really pretty pink. And the camera's going to cut off, and I'm going to go, the camera probably already stopped. Now I have all these shoes to put away.